what are some challenges of being a young and up and coming artist? <sighs> there are many. <laughs> Figuring out what it is you want to say, first of all, because I think that's always at the core of of what an artist is, is having a clear concept. And then after that, it's figuring out how to release that in an artistic way. I feel like it's a lot of sort of self-analysis <laughs> and going back and forth and realizing who you are and who you are not and what you like and what you don't like. I feel that I am in like a very, very important part of my emerging artist uh, journey where I'm like really discovering my voice. And it is really challenging to be in that place and also really, really nourishing. But to be in that place and to figure out how to continue on that journey while expanding. Keep writing, um, being consistent. My biggest challenge as well would be um, getting to know the process and, and what it takes to um, develop theater. I think um, trying to find support and I guess people who believe in your work. There's so much that I want to do and I think my personal challenge as an artist is remembering that I am literally 23 years old, like I need to slow down and not comparing myself to the people I admire who have done this for like decades, uh, which I think is just like a natural part of being an artist. But especially when you're young, it's easy to forget that there's so much to learn. There's so much to learn about not only how to write, that's almost the easy part. There's things to learn about how to apply for grants and how to advocate for your work. Finances are a big <laughs> one. Um, and knowing, like kind of like the confidence of knowing that this is a path that is safe to take. Um, Cause I feel like once you get to the, like I know a lot of like more established writers who so it's like they got to the point where they know how, they know that they can rely on a certain amount of grant money per year because that's what they're used to getting and they, they learn how to navigate the system. The tendency for, you know, people to do what's safe, companies to do what's kind of safe and just work with the same people that they know and they don't provide enough resources and opportunities to to emerging young 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 artists young artists get a lot of praise for being you know resilient or innovative especially during this pandemic where so much is uncertain um, but I think what really worries me is we don't know yet how theater companies and other arts institutions, are actually going to show up for young artists if they're going to invest in them if they're going to take a risk uh, to, to stage the next generation and we haven't really begun to recover from the pandemic yet so we don't know what investment is going to be made in us and our work so that's something that i definitely consider challenging i think it's just tough for everyone whether they're emerging or experienced I mean especially as we go through you know what I hope is the end of the pandemic I think being an artist is full of surprises slash the unknown and something that I really enjoyed is to um, discover how you think you're going this way and yet life brings you elsewhere I definitely entered the industry with an expectation that there was a ladder, and there was a direction, and there was a method. And if I climbed upward in using the right method, I would make it. What is it? I don't know. Make it where? I don't know. <laughs> so letting go of that demanded self-compassion in a way that I did not have um, in my early 20s. 
deciding what your titles are going to be. A lot of people in the Young Creators Unit come from very different backgrounds. Um, I do come from theater training as an actor, so I'm familiar with what works well in a script and what doesn't. I know what I like to read in a script and what I don't. I know what's fun and joyful to rehearse and commit to memory as an actor. Um, and I think it can be challenging starting out in your career. You're excited, you're passionate, you have a lot of energy to put into all of these things that fulfill you, but there's this old guard that kind of wants you to decide, like, so are you an actor or are you a playwright or are you writing short films or are you just a producer or are you a director? And it's like, I don't think we can narrow ourselves down anymore. Like, uh, if our generation of the Young Creators Unit, if this, like, millennial place teaches us anything, that we're all, like, polymath storytellers, that you have to be adaptable to new kinds of mediums because the world can change like that. Challenges. One, I think a lack of confidence. I think it can be really hard to uh, be bold and have confidence and to take risks. Two, I think another challenge is... Um, not comparing yourself to others because we're all weird freaks and I think we need to, what is it called when you put a flag up? Like hoist your weird freak flag. But when you're young and emerging, that seems scary to do because then you're like, oh, everyone's gonna know I'm a freak. But really, everyone's a freak. We just all need to uh, celebrate that. And I think another challenge is when you compare yourself to other artists, um, you can very easily think that your voice doesn't have a place um, when um, really truly everyone's voice and um, perspective and um, everyone's take on our story has a place. And I think YCU has really taught me that.